August 23rd, 2001 will go down in history as the day I finally saw a beetle in real life. We shared the same air. <laughs> The Beatles had been broken up for 31 years by this time, but that did not make 10 year old me any less excited to see Ringo Starr. Even if it was with a bunch of other people that I didn't know. In 2001, Ringo's bandmates were Roger Hodgson from Supertramp, Ian Hunter from Mott the Hoople, Howard Jones, Greg Lake from Emerson Lake and Palmer, and King Crimson, Sheila E., who worked with Prince, and Mark Rivera. So basically, what Ringo Starr does now is he travels around with a bunch of artists from the 70s. They're a super group that play their own songs with Ringo as the Ringo leader. One of my favorite childhood memories is driving to this concert because my parents, whenever Ringo Starr or Beatles music came on the radio on good old Cool 108, super 60s and 70s. They would just crank it all the way. Like this stereo went up to 11. It was so loud. And I remember asking her to turn it down because my, you know, little 10 year old ears were exploding. And she was like, this is how loud the concert is going to be. Get used to it. And she didn't change it, but it was super fine, I guess. I mean, my ears are fine now, I think. Who knows? I did take at least one picture, it's right there, but I'll crop it in right now. But again, like I said yesterday, I didn't have a digital camera that had video capabilities, I didn't have a cell phone, so I didn't take any videos, and I don't even know if video of this concert exists. I haven't been able to find it, which is saying something, because I'm usually really good at finding this stuff. We interrupt this video for a Chipotle break. While I'm sad I didn't get a t-shirt because when you're 10 you grow out of them like that, I did get a keychain. I had an absolute blast at this concert and even though Ringo's strengths lie heavily in the drums department and very lightly in the frontman department, he managed to work his Beatle charm over the crowd and it's a night I will never forget. It's just kind of, it's just a good time. If you leave happy, Ringo has done his job. He's always happy and all about peace, all about peace and love. And we just, we need more of that in the world. We need more peace and love. Thanks for watching May Concert Today. If you enjoyed today's video, you can comment and subscribe. I'm making one of these every day this month for a different concert. I hope you had a lovely day wherever and whenever you are. And I'll see you tomorrow for day three of May Concert Today. In true Ringo style, peace and love.